Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Dave. ABQ Sports Cards. We are coming at you live from ABQ HQ. Today we are opening up this box of Tops Chrome from 2003 at Series One. Looking for some good stuff in here. Welcome to the show. If you're uh, watching the replay, fast forward about nine minutes. We got about nine minutes before we get started here. People did get in on the break. Their names and divisions. We did this by random division are on the screen. I'll make that smaller once we get started here, but I want everybody to see exactly what we had going on. 2003 Tops Chrome Series 1. Car Shark Chris in the house. Welcome, sir. Oh, man. Fresh off of our Blaster War yesterday, our Hangar War yesterday. Oh, man. He's super excited. He got a bunch of wrestling stuff. It is on. We got a WWE Battlegrounds, so we'll probably be playing that once I'm done streaming here. He is super pumped about that. They just got done opening all his stuff. And, uh, yeah, it was pandemonium in this place for a few minutes as he was just going crazy. So thank you, sir. Appreciate you. And uh, 2003 Tops Chrome this is what we have in store 24 packs, four cards per pack. Not going to take a whole lot of time here. Oh. Boom, 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 boom. Let's see what we got here. We got... We got a couple of Allen and Ginter value packs and a baseball prime pack. We can open that up before we get started here. So expect to... See some streaming of WWE Battlegrounds on ABQ Sports Network. That'll probably be happening. 14 cards inside the value pack. Allen against you. We're going to open up two of those and the Baseball Prime pack to get started. Hopefully your day is going good, sir. Getting, uh, getting any rain? I know Delta made its way through the, the southeast, so hopefully you guys are okay. Allen against her 2020. We got Al Kaline. J.K. Dobbins. Freddie Freeman. <laughs> Raining all crazy right now, I bet, man. Die looks like a comedian. That is actor and comedian Jeff Die. Anthony Rendon. David Wright. Carl Yastrzemski, Grandpa Yaz. Our mini is going to be, we got a couple minis here. Mini is nine ways to first. It is a fielding error. Fielding error, nine ways to first. On the mini insert and a Nick Senzel mini as well. A 27 yard touchdown run today. Nice. Very cool, sir. Proud dad moment, probably. Doc Gooden. Reach for the sky. That is one World Trade Center. 25 Perez. Welcome, man. JBJ, Jackie Bradley Jr. We're opening up some value packs of. Alan and Ginter before we get started, as well as a baseball prime pack from. And Salvador Perez finishes off the value pack. First one in the books, Nick Senzel. Seems to be the highlight, the mini card of that one. 2003 Topps Chrome Series 1 is what we're opening today. Celebration day for Carshard Chris. 27 yard. Touchdown run. Not easy to do, man. One yard touchdown runs aren't easy, let alone 27. You got to make a couple people miss. Kid getting it done. Charlie Rogers in the house as well. We're opening up value packs of Allen against her before we get started here. That is Kirby Yates. Tom Sieber. Jack Flaherty. Randy Johnson, Joe Maurer, 
Hey, Phil Generals, Mike Piazza. Two in two minis. Bug down, that is a tree hopper. And our mini player is Nick Castellanos. On uh, a Ginter back, very nice. You had to find a Brooklyn back, but we're definitely finding the Ginters. Juan gone. Digging deep, that is Quartz. Chris Bryant. Garrett Cole had a dinger hit off him yesterday. Frank Thomas. And Thune. Actor and comedian Nick Thune. That was two value packs. Valen and Ginter. We found a Ginter back. Nick Castellanos. And a mini of Nick Senzel. We're going to open a baseball prime pack next. Still got a little less than three minutes before we get started. So we'll breeze through this. See what we got in this thing. Welcome to the show, everybody. 2003 Tops Chrome Series 1. Good luck to everybody on the break. These are Fairfield products right here. One hobby pack, two packs, and a bonus card, which I am guessing is this green paralleled pops. Look at that green parallel. Willie Stargell, 1970s, is the card on the bottom here. Let's see if that's exactly what it is. It is. Green Parallel, Willie Stargell on the Decade's Best card. And our packs in this one are 2019 Low Number Heritage. 2015 Donruss. And... 2019 Gypsy Queen. My guess is the Donruss is the hobby pack. Nope. Uh, uh, let's see. Maybe. All right, we're going to open up Donruss first, then we'll get to Heritage, and then we'll go to Gypsy Queen. 2015 Donruss, we've opened up a bunch of this on the channel. Were you pulling a uh, Chris Berman uh, in the stands? Rumbling, stumbling. Throwback, 81, Evan Longoria. I like the 81s on these. They're fantastic. Very clean design. Victor Martinez, Elite Series. And our base cards are Neil Walker, Cole Hamels, Odor, Alex Cobb, Anthony Rizzo, and Chris Tillman finishes out 2015 Donners. We're going to go low number heritage before we head to Gypsy Queen from 2019. That is Alan Hansen, Adalberto Mondesi, Kendrys Morales. Wade LeBlanc. We got one of the bottle cap toppers. That is Max Scherzer. On the topper, baseball stars candy is what it says. One of 15. Gerardo Parra. Colin Moran. Urban Santana. And sporting news of David Price. So... Gypsy Queen is what we have left, and then we'll head it right into uh, 2003 Tops Chrome. Appreciate you guys. Here we go. Starting with Paul Goldschmidt. Justin Upton. I really like the, the stuff they use. Like, it made the picture pop on the, on the card on 19. 20 seemed a little faded out, but 19 was fantastic. Oh, a no-name. 
No name on the bottom. That is Yoan Moncada found the no name from 2019 Gypsy Queen. Taylor Ward. Rookie card for Taylor Ward. And Jack Flaherty finishes off our prime pack box. So no name, no more Mazzara, and a green parallel pops on the 1970s decade's best. Not too bad. All right, welcome everybody. We're going to make this uh, names and teams a little bit smaller, and then we're going to get started here. Good luck to everyone in the break. Hoping to find some good stuff here. Unsponsored is the AL West, so anything AL West that gets pulled will be unsponsored. NL Central is Hotbox Cards. AL Central is Curtis Elliott. AL East, Karshar Chris. NL East and NL West go to Charlie Rogers. We're going to see what 2003 Topps Chrome looked like. I'm not too familiar with the set. But it's going to go memory lane as 2003 was a great baseball time. We got a checklist. There are... 220 cards in the set, along with inserts, record breaker relics. So, all right. Hopefully we'll find good stuff. We do have a silver pack in here. Big old silver pack. Doesn't say what it is, so who knows, man. It might be a Pop-Tart. It might be some cards. I'm thinking Pop-Tart. All right, first, first pack. Four cards in the pack. Looking very fancy on the... Uh, on the, Oh, the light's about to go out. Darn you. Oh, did I save it? I saved it. Yes. All right. Four cards in the pack. Let's see what we can find here. Pack number one. You <laughs> need a Pop-Tart, right? Have some cards and a Pop-Tart. Here you go. Ooh, I like these. Now I know where I, where those were from. 2003 Topps Chrome. Very fancy with the blue borders. I like it. That is pinky out right there. Steve Cox starts it off for the Devil Rays. Omar Dahl. Before he went to Arizona, I believe. That's a spacer. This is not a spacer. This is a... E tops. I don't know if everybody remember E tops. Apparently they tried to be like E trade, but do tops. Ramon A Martinez. Yeah, this is like Stock X, but in 2003. That's hilarious. They tried to do this, but now it's taken off. Ahead of their time, man. That's what that was. First year card, Ramon A Martinez. I remember Ramon. The pitcher, Martinez. And first year card for Walter Young and the Bucks. Yeah, very fancy with the blue border. I'm, like, I'm digging that. I don't know what, what you guys think, but that is A-OK -okay with me. I, I like it. Brent Abernathy. The Go Rays. Or was that Go Devil Rays by that time? Uh, we'll see if anybody's still playing. Ramon Hernandez, I doubt it. Ramon Hernandez. That'll be the game. Who's still playing from 2003? I guess they put these in every pack because there's another one. E-Tops, they really wanted you to... It's super thick, too. Il Kim. First year card of Il Kim. It's like Lil Kim, but this one's ill. South of the border, Tijuana brother in the house. Welcome, man. Not as uh, not as fancy as Lil Kim, though. Jason Kendall. I like Jason Kendall. I thought he was good for the Bucks. Four cards for pack. 2003 Topps Chrome. That's what we're playing. Uh, try to guess who our relic's going to be. 
We'll take guesses right now. Trying to guess who our relic is in the box. Win a prize. Calvin Millwood. He had a few good years with the Braves. Oh, we got a gold or a shiny in here. There's something definitely different here. A gold or a shiny in this one. That is Kevin Millwood. We're going right to it as that is the E-Tops card. So let's see what the one in the back is. That is Edgar Martinez. Very nice. Edgar from 2003. Maybe we got two gold cards. We did get two gold cards. First one's going to be Eddie Gerardo on a gold. These are very shiny. I like these. I thought I liked the blue. The gold's much better. Yeah. Second card is Eric Milton. Not too bad. Eric Milton, very good with the twins. These are numbered. This one is 201 out of 449. Eddie Gerardo for the twins. AL Central is Curtis Elliott. Eric Milton, AL Central as well. Back-to-back -back twins. That is 314 out of 449. Right? Very shiny. Very shiny, man. All right. Two golds. Hopefully we got a hot box of gold cards. That'd be fantastic. They are all numbered out of 449. Four cards for pack. Not going to take a whole lot of time, so let's see if we can find some fantastic stuff here. David Eckstein with the Angels. Mags, Maglio Ordonez. I remember really liking him. Thought he was a great ball player. Junior Spivey. Oh, I remember Junior Spivey. Man, memory lane, folks. Last card, Corey Koski. For the Twins. Big fan of these. 2003 Series 1, so probably... They probably stuck all the big, big rookies in Series 2, but I'm sure there's some good stuff in here. Todd Helton for the Rockies. Another great first baseman there. This looks like, is this going to be our relic or is that the, oh, no, that's the E-Tops. E-Tops. Looks like we got another shiny one here. That is Kevin Apier rounding out his career with the Angels. Bernie Castro. First year card for the Padres. And our parallel looks like it's a black card. That is Jose Vidro. Normally I like the black ones, but the gold ones are doing it for me this time. But that is still very shiny. And a parallel. This is going to be out of 199, 57 out of 199 for the Expos. Who were they? They were NL East. NL East, that is Charlie Rogers. So two golds and a black. And we're only like four or five packs in. Jose Valentin, another parallel. This one's a blue. Robert Fick, an even shinier blue than the normal ones we got here. Robert Fick for the Tigers. Another Jose Vidro, but that is the regular one. And our parallel on this one is going to be Sidney Ponson 
for the Orioles. Yeah, that is super shiny, man. These things are all shined up. That is 86 out of 699. Sydney Ponson, AL East. Card Shark Chris. Four parallels so far, so I think we're doing all right in these. Is we still got over half the box to go. Don't know what the average of these things were, but let's see what the pack odds say. Pack odds say um, black bordered or one in twenty. Refractor parallels two and sixteen. Yeah, same for me, man. It was like ninety right before the the packs got crazy, so I'd say ninety four for me. Hideo Nomo, oh man. Hideo Nomo, no hitter. Very uh, unorthodox delivery. Adam Kennedy. Bob Wickman for the Indians. And Tony Batista with the O's. That's going to be hilarious if this is a Pop-Tart. It's not going to be, but that'd be hilarious. Be like, here you go. Here's a almost 20-year-old Pop-Tart for you to eat. Oh, Dallas Perez, he went to the D-backs, or the Braves. He ended up going to the Braves. Another shiny blue one in this one. Big Cat, Andres Galarraga, still with the Expos at this point. Was he really? Nomar was a Tiger for a minute? Wow, did I miss that? Russ Ortiz for the Giants. And our blue parallel again, going to be out of 699. This is A Rod for the AL West. Alex Rodriguez in his I'm the highest paid player in the game day. 400 million, 10 years, man. 95 out of 699 on the blue A Rod. Very fancy. All right. That was highlight of uh, A-Rod's days, man. I think he had just gotten paid. It was Friday. He just got paid. He ain't got nothing to do. Troy Gloss. I think I remember, like, this week in baseball, I was interviewing him one time, and they were like, oh, how do you get your grip strength so much? And he was like, Talking about how he gets a bucket of rice and tries to dig to the bottom of it. Troy Gloss. Hey, bub. I mean, can I, can I watch you too? Yeah. It's a, I think you know, you're <laughs> Eric Milton, there's his regular card. We found his parallel earlier. Franklin Gutierrez for the Dodgers. He was with us for a quick minute as well. Where we shipped him off. And CC Sabathia... I think this is the card I originally had that I had no idea where it was from. <laughs> All right, here we go. Two blues, a black border, and two gold par parallels in the same pack, back to back. Let's see what else we can find here. We're still looking for our relic here. Sean Green. Hit 40 homers for the Dodgers. Was very glad to get him. Was a huge Sean Green fan for the Dodgers. Isringhausen. Closer for the Cardinals. Craig Brazell, First year card for the Mets. And Ellis Burks. And the Indians. All right.
still waiting to see what our relic is here. Oh, astronaut ice cream, man. It sounded so cool as a kid. And then you would eat it and you'd be like, this is like eating chalk. How can astronauts like this stuff, man? Danny Graves. Joe Ban Joe Randa and the Royals. All right, moving along, we got Rob Nen, another good closer. I hate to say it because he's with the Giants, but he was pretty decent. And El Duque, Orlando Hernandez. Once he left the Yankees, it was game over, but he tried it with the White Sox for a little bit, I think, after they traded him. El Duque, mania, hit New York pretty hard, though. Bobby Higginson for the Tigers. Yeah, great closers. Hoffman was in there. Um, Worrell. No, not Worrell. Worrell was way earlier. Um, whoever the Dodgers had at the time. I forget what his name was. Brandon Duckworth. Tim Wakefield. Troy Percival, yep, he was fantastic too. Tim Wakefield, knuckleballer. And Shannon Stewart for the Blue Jays. Back when they had that design and the short sleeves. I think they were trying to get away from the old school Joe Carter days. Mo Vaughn with the Mets. Did I did I miss that? Did he become a free agent and go to the Mets? Apparently. Vernon Wells, Shannon Stewart, Vernon Wells. Blue Jays had some good teams, man. They just couldn't ever get it going. Wasn't this the time when the Rocket was in Toronto as well? David Justice with the A's. Money balling it. And Kazuhira Sasaki for the Mariners. Haven't had a parallel since that A-Rod, hoping that was not the end of them. That's what I get for getting excited about the A-Rod. Oh, this guy, Jose, speaking of closers, Jose Mesa. Another one, man. He came on the, especially when he was with the Indians, he would come on the mound and it'd be game over. Eric Gagne, that's who I'm thinking of for the Dodgers. Eric Gagne. Oh, David Justice, yep. Everybody wanted that David Justice card. JT Snow, after he moved on from the Angels. Carlos Beltran, the man who started all the, all the stuff with the Astros. And Brian Lawrence for the Padres pitcher. I like Beltran before that too, man. I, so, crushing my dreams, Beltran. I guess he'd been so close to winning. I, I guess he was going to do it at any means necessary. He knew he was at the end of his career. D-backs, Danny Bautista. Yeah, Gagne had that nasty hat, man. It was horrible. Danny Bautista. Roy Halladay. Rest in peace, brother. Blue Jays, Roy Halladay. Derek Lee. For the Marlins. Marlins, Astros. He was with a few teams. Derek Lee was, and... We got five cards in this pack. That is Alex Gonzalez. 
for the Marlins and Steve Carsey for the Yanks. Pulling five cards out of that one. All right. Oh, we finally get another parallel. That is another blue. Going to be out of six ninety nine. Jeremy Burnett. Remember him mostly with the Brewers, though. That is a first-year card of Daryl Clark, who I do not remember at all. Brad Wilkerson, Gold Cup card. Wilkerson was supposed to be the guy, man. Then they turned into the Nationals, and he just kind of was okay. Blue Parallel. Who's it going to be this time? We got an A-Rod on the last one. This one is going to be another Gold Cup. That is Eric Kinski for the Blue Jays. Gold Cup, this thing. Look at this thing, man. South of Order's right. You need sunglasses to see these because this thing is all shined up. Kinski is 80 out of 699 for Jays Mixes Blue Jays. Two more stacks here before we get to the Pop Tart. That is a Johnny Damon Red Sox card. Another blue. Get them sunglasses on. It's going to be a blue parallel. Jason Giambi. I remember that rain game against the Red Sox. I'm sure I talk about this every time I see Giambi in a Yankee uniform. It was like Pedro versus their best guy, and it was like raining and Ninth inning, Giambi hits a home run. Great game. Mike Williams. And our blue parallel is... Sammy Sosa. That would have been a great 2003 card. Not so much nowadays, but Sammy Sosa and El Central goes to Hotbox cards on the blue... Shiny parallel, that is 84 out of 699. We've been getting some low numbers in this box. Sammy's iconic hop. That is right before he takes that hop. Good stuff. Apparently looks totally different nowadays. Skin's all bleached out. Looking very different. Slamming Sammy Sosa. That uh, home run race with McGuire revitalized baseball. So, hate the steroid era all you want, but most of us would not have gotten back into baseball without it. As uh, after the strike, I pretty much said, forget you guys. Jim Tomey. Yeah, not untrue. Jim Tomey. Jamie Moyer. Him and his mid 80s fastballs. That is first year card, Jason Perry for the Blue Jays. There's the old uniforms. It's got to be the AAA one. And last card is Scott Hatterberg, Moneyball. This is the, the year. If they were making that pitched into his 50s, I wouldn't doubt it. He was great with the Mariners. Randy Johnson, Moyer. Randy Johnson, Moyer. They had a couple guys that were just fantastic for that team. It felt like he was in his 50s, probably.
Chris Carpenter. Yeah, only Bartolo goes. Two gold ones again. If you get a gold one in these packs, they are back to back. Brian Jordan with the Dodgers. What? I don't remember that. Get out of here with that. All right. Two gold cards. Who are they going to be? That is Robert Person for the Phillies. Clements could throw a style at hitting, probably. Robert Person and Juan Gon on a gold. Juan Gon gets a gold card. Don't leave home without it. Person was 187 out of 449. So some solid 2003 players on our parallels. 278 out of 449 for Juan Gon. He had 405 home runs at this point of his career. All right, last pack before we get to the bottom row. This one feels like it might have our relic in it. It does, so we're going to hold up. Wait a minute. Well, south of the border, put some boom in it. Or tequila, whichever comes first. Andrew Jones. The Dodgers got him after he put on like 40 pounds. It was horrible. Jerry Harrison Jr. Let's see what we got. We got Andy Ashby. They moved the fences to get him to stay. Yeah, it didn't, didn't work, though. Andy Ashby. And Jorge Posada finishes off that one. That's the, that's the relic. Maybe. Or the Pop-Tarts a relic. I don't know. Who knows? Al Leiter. Great pitcher with the ball right there. Alfonso Soriano. He was the one everybody wanted as well. Cubs. And then the Yankees hitting 40 home runs for a second baseman. Nobody was doing that back then. Jeff Kent was the closest. And Soriano came along. Started in the outfield with the Cubs, but then they moved him to second base. Yeah. One, two, 18, and then 39 home runs. Mark Mulder, him and, him and those guys over with the A's, man. Very Zito. Great A's team. They should have won it. Danny Nagel. Rolled into the Yankees. Yankees were like, nope, stopping this train. Larry Walker. Mulder's a Spartan, right on. Another shiny one. Looks like a silver this time. We haven't gotten a silver yet. Larry Walker. Juan Pierre, another one Dodgers way overpaid for. He ended with the Marlins and the Rockies, and then we overpaid him with the Dodgers. Sean Burroughs. Brent Butler. This is the Rockies pack. Brent Butler. And this might be the relic. Super shiny. That is says single. It is Lance Berkman on a bat relic. So that was not the one I thought it was. This is it right here. Lance Berkman. Bat relic. That is for the Astros. And the Astros were the NL West at this time, I believe. 2003 Astros were still in the NL. So that's going to go to Charlie Rogers. Game used. Authentic bat relic. Three home runs on April 16, 2002. 
in Cincinnati. Very shiny, very nice. Lance Berkman, decent player at the time. Makes some great catches in center field. So this one was thicker, but it ended up not being the relic. So that was the relic right there. Craig Council with the D-backs. Luis Gonzalez, back-to-back D-backs. His World Series winning hit. Mike Messina. Five cards in this one as well. That is Danny's Baez. I think they're making up for the four cards you get when you get the gold parallels. And Barry Zito, there he is, Mulder, and then Zito. Last pack before we get to the Pop-Tart. This was the one I thought the Relic was in, as it felt way thicker than the other ones. Ishmael Valdez, Dodger, Rocky, and Ranger. Aaron Boone with the Reds. Now, uh, managing the Yankees. Jermaine Dye. Oh, man, watching him break his leg off that foul pitch. Horrible. That is Pat Burrell. Another future former Dodger. And Todd Hunley with the Cubs. Another ex-Dodger as well. All right, here we go. Isn't that what they called Comerica Park, the cow pasture? Or is that just me remembering it that way? Here's the Pop-Tart. Let's see what we get here. Last pack in the box. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, this is a huge... I think they. this is the year they did the uncirculated cards. Uncirculated... Oh, my gosh. Uncirculated X-Fractor of Jason Perry, first year card. Inside 2003 Tops Chrome. That's going to go to the AL East. That is Carshar Chris getting this Jason Perry. 22 out of 50, sir. Boom. It's already top or... One touched up with tops. I might have to get a few more of these. These were pretty nice. I, I was digging these. We'll try Series 2 maybe. And then, uh, yeah, I was liking these. These were fantastic. All right, that'll do it for us. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for hanging out. Congratulations to everybody on the break. Charlie Rogers getting the relic. Karshar Chris getting that uncirculated card. And uh, we got a couple of cards for Curtis Elliott as well and Hotbox. So, Everybody got a little bit of something. You guys are great. Appreciate you all for hanging out. Stay safe and have a great night, guys.